Welcome to another on enter flash tutorial. This is Flash CS4 and I'm going to be teaching you the basics of drawing inside of Flash CS4. So with Flash CS4 open, let's get into this tutorial by going to Flash File Action Script 3. When you click, you should see a blank stage, your timeline at the bottom, and also panels over to the side which give you your properties, library, and amongst other tabs. Let's look over here. This is where all our tools are available. And inside of Flash, we have a few new tools that are available. Right now, I'm just going to show you how to draw a few tools, how to color them, and that's about it. So let's get into it. The first tool that we have is the selection tool, which is very vital to manipulating your vector objects. If you don't know what a vector is, a vector is drawn with lines and fills opposed to a roster which is a bitmap wh which most images are created with. Anyway, let's get into it. I'm going to go down to this rectangle tool, select it. And once I select the rectangle tool, you see in the properties panel things change. It gives you the fill and, the f yeah, fill and stroke, um, its size, and also the uh, rectangle options which allow you to give your rectangles corners. So let's go over to the stage. You should see that you have a cross here now and draw a rectangle. When drawing items in Flash, Flash allows you to freely draw whatever you like. But if you hold the shift, it locks the ratio, which may gives you perfect squares or perfect circles. Now this item also has other tools associated with it. If you look closely, there is a small triangle. And that small triangle represents more items in one tool. So if we click and hold, other items will come up. Let's go over to the oval tool. And let's draw an oval. I'm holding the... Ooh. I'm holding the shift to keep it a perfect circle. All these items that I'm drawing all fall on top of each other and they have this cookie cutter effect and I'll show you. I'm going to go over to my selection tool and when I select the item they seem to be merged. This is because the way Flash draws items is that when you draw something on top of another item it essentially cuts whatever's under it out. Now there's a way to avoid this by grouping objects which I'll show you really quickly. Let's go over to the oval tool. It's important to start learning your shortcuts so you can easily access your items. Now I'm going to go to my selection tool. That's the black mouse at the top. I'm just going to press V. And Once you select it, you can go to modify and group. And once you group it, you'll see blue lines around the object. That means you can't alter it or modify it. If you do want to alter or modify a grouped object, you just double click. And it goes into edit mode. You can see up top, this address bar shows you where you are. You're in scene one, which is the first scene in every single flash document. Then you have group. You're inside this grouped item. If you double click to the side, it goes back to its uneditable form. Let's draw another shape. This time, let's change the color. Once I've clicked on the oval tool, inside of my properties, you see stroke and fill. Currently, I do not have a stroke. A stroke is the line around the object. I'm going to change that to a orange brownish color. I'm going to go over here to the fill and change that to a yellow color. And I will draw my circle. I'm going to go back to my selection tool. Now if I were to move this circle, this group circle, over the new oval that I've drawn, this yellow sun looking item, it's supposedly supposed to cut it out. But if I move it back off, you see that it hasn't. This is not grouped. So let, let me draw another item, another oval, 
with a different color. Purple. Now if I draw this purple over oval over the circle, go back to my selection tool and move it, it's been cut. Let's try that again, but group it. The shortcut is Control G or Apple G. Now it's grouped. Great. Back to my oval tool. Draw oval on the screen, which is purple, and it has that brown border. Now many times in Flash you'll draw something in which you want to change the color of the object. To do that, you select the item that you want to change, and you move over to your properties palette. And inside your properties, they have a fill color, which I selected. And by simply changing it, it changes the fill color. You can see that it's selected because it has these small dots inside of it. Let's click off to the side. Let's select the stroke now. The way you select stroke is with a little practice. You head over to your item, your vector, off to the side, double click on it, and you should get a small ring or whatever shape that is around your fill. And simply change the stroke. So that's how you change strokes and fills on items. Let's delete that. There are other tools inside of Flash, the pen tool, which is great for drawing curves. And later on, I'll tell you how to do that. The line tool, which draws strokes. You have your oval tool, all these other tools all put together. The pen tool draws freehand strokes. The brush tool draws freehand fills. We have the deco tool, which I'll get into. I'll start talking about new items in Flash, your paint bucket tool. I'll show you that. Go over to my oval tool, draw an oval. And I have a bunch of ovals, in fact. Kind of looks like a poor man's Mickey Mouse. Now, I have no idea what it looks like. Okay, we go over to the paint bucket tool. Instead of the paint bucket tool, it gives us the ability to select a color and keep that color while you change items. So the paint bucket tool is a very nice tool if you want to change your items. It's also the ink bottle tool, which allows you to do the same thing but towards strokes. So all my strokes are changing colors. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, the stroke did change colors. <coughs> we'll go back to my selection tool. To select items is very easy. You can make a lasso or marquee with your selection tool by clicking and holding, making a rectangle, letting go when you feel as though your item has been enclosed. This is how you select. With your item selected, if you have your selection tool, you'll be able to move it around with your mouse. Or you can go to the free transform tool, which gives you the ability to scale it also move it around. If you have your selection tool and you want to move something or select the whole entire item, you must double click, especially if it has a stroke. I'll show you what happens if I single click. If I single click, only the fill is selected, and me moving it detaches it from a stroke. Double clicking, you get both items. And that's pretty much it for Drawing Essentials. Thanks for watching on Enter Flash. If you like any of these tutorials, please rate, comment, and um, go to my website on enterflash.blogspot.com and maybe make a donation or just click on an ad to put a few pennies in my pocket. Thanks for watching on Enter Flash.